I think body language plays a huge part in any type of teaching. So I go through a lot of trouble to show my face in all my teaching videos. The students say things like, having your face in there makes it feel like you and I are working together in the same room. Now, every once in a while, I, I do get a negative comment. Sometimes students say that having my face in there is distracting, but I get so many more positive comments than I get negative comments that I'm totally sold on using this method. I think it's certainly the right one for me. So in my videos, um, I use kind of a unique thing with paper cutouts. They're just so much easier to do animations with a bunch of paper cutouts than to try to do it with screencasts or with PowerPoint. People always say that my hands are a big part of the lesson. I'll have my big lesson thing in front of me and I'll cover up various parts of it. And I'll say, you know, don't pay attention to this or do pay attention to this. So in order to do this double camera thing, um, it takes a little bit of work. I have a big desk and that's what I'm drawing on and doing my paper cutouts on. And in front of that desk, I have a video camera that's pointing right at me. I have two bookshelves on either side of the desk and a board that's going across the top of those two bookshelves. So that's, that's above me. And I have the camera mounted on that board shooting straight down. I think that interaction is the most important part of teaching, of any type of teaching. Because at the end of the day, we're not just trying to convey the content, that there are this many moles of this, or that here's what a covalent bond is. I want to teach students that science is really fun. Hopefully I convey, can convey my own passion for science.